Okay, uh, I had to tell you that um, the idea to organize the ICBL conferences came to me in one Alpha project in 2005. Um, and I discussed this with different colleagues. And so we organized the first ICBL in 2007 in Brazil and also the other three ICBLs. And this is our fourth ICBL now here in Guatemala. I can congratulate the uh, organizers of this conference because I think from all the conferences is, this is the most successful one. We have more participants, we have participants now from, I heard yesterday from the organizers about 15 countries and what is very important for me that there are also people coming from other Central and Latin American countries. Uh, because this was a little bit the lack of the other conferences, the most people came only from Brazil. And um, the, uh, the aim of the conference and what, what uh, we are aiming to do is to bring together experience in e-learning in Europe and in Central and Latin America. Why? Um, my first impression when I came first time to Brazil, and I'm very often Brazil, was that I saw that the level uh, of development in this area is quite high. And I, but I saw also that the problems uh, which we should solve with e-learning are different. So I thought this would be a good idea to bring this different peer experience together and so we started to organize the ISPL and you see we have here people from Europe, we have people from the US and of course this is the most important thing, people from Latin America and from Guatemala. Um, and uh, so we can learn from each other, of course the, the, of course the, the, um, uh, the conditions in which we are working are different. And, uh, but what I see also from my experience uh, in uh, working in Latin America, working with students from Latin America, I have no, uh, unfortunately I have no experience uh, working with, school, with uh, students from uh, Guatemala. But I think um, I, from a lot of um, visits to other countries in uh, Latin America can say the students are quite interested to get knowledge, they are catching the knowledge and uh, they are very interested to get in touch and experience with people from other cultures and this makes me makes it to me to so interesting to work here i think is uh, of course this is is, is different developed because uh, to do e learning you could, can do it on different levels but I think it is, is, is well developed and uh, you have, as everywhere, you have pioneers which are doing this and uh, the University of Galileo is, I think, one of the pioneers. But I saw this also in uh, Mexico, um, that this is quite good developed and we had also contact with the universities in Colombia and so my impression is that you are on the right way. Um, the first point I would uh, would like to mention that I see that we are getting more and more internationalization in Iran, so that we can get the experience from different countries and also the experience from different points of views. Um, the second point I would like to mention is that we see that didactics is coming more and more to the center of e-learning. We saw this also today in the keynote of Professor Maurer. Technology is really a tool, but uh, what is important is that uh, this new technology forces us to change the didactics and that we really have the student in the center of our didactic. The student is not, should not anymore be the object of teaching. The students is be the active part of, of teaching and learning. So there is an interaction between the professor and the student. And this is very important and we saw this also from the conference. And the third point is of course uh, that we see more and more, this is a more technological part, that um, 3D um, virtual reality is coming more and more. So this is my impression from ICL, ICBL. Here. I think this is important first of all for exchange of experience, um, to get an other view of culture. Because I think for learning and teaching the influence of culture is very important. Um, 
I I'm working really in different regions of the world in, in the area of e-learning. I have projects in Eastern Europe and I'm working also together with colleagues from the Middle East. We are doing a lot in Europe and of course I'm touch also with my colleagues in, uh, in the US. And this is a very different perspective. So, and what, I'm, what I see in Latin America is that the collaboration, the, the openness of the people is very high. This is very important also that you can learn here on ICPL more than maybe on other conferences. Of course, this was my first visit to Galileo University. Um, unfortunately, I had not so much time to go also to the labs, but uh, I saw this is a well equipped uh, university with uh, highly motivated staff, with highly motivated stu students, and I think you're on the right way.